Dana Pavlenko, please come to the hall. Dana Mikhailovna Pavlenko, how do you relate to the defendant Larisa Artemyevna Pavlenko? According to the documents, she is my mother, foster mother. Are you sure you are ready to testify against your mother? Twenty years before, where is Dana? There. Dana, come on, show me what happened, where does it hurt, here. Just a little thing, I fell and got hurt. Is that it? Listen, when you phoned, it was as if the writing arena had fallen on you, you know, you distracted me from my work. I had a lot of people there important things to do. Ha, ah, unforgotten, I didn't expect that from you. What's the matter with you, Dana? Episode 1. Dad, I won't do it again, don't be angry now. How can I not be angry with you? Ha, ah, God, what happened, did she throw you off or what? Yeah. She's expecting a baby. She's worried about her foal. Aye. What was my mom like? I can't remember her at all. She was the best. You just were too young to remember her. Isn't she forgotten for you? Certainly she is not. Of course she is not forgotten. I always remember her. When you grow up, you will become my assistant. And we will give Rania and her full a monthly allowance. So that the foal grows up healthy. Ha, huh, deal. Rania, your foal will be fine. Here. Take it, come on. By the way, they added another tennis lesson at 3 o'clock on Friday. Uh -huh. At 3 o'clock? Yes. If we have time between horses and painting, although I think we can skip the scribble. It isn't scribble, it's a fine art, art. Write that down. Danka, you're like a president, not a moment's rest. I am Dana Mikhailovna, not a child. Dana, you're still a child. That's right, Balya. Have you asked your daughter? Will she teach me business English? Why not? She's just completed her studies to become a secretary, honors graduate. Smart mind, great opportunities. Metro, get to work. And she will visit us more often, and Valya won't be so sad without her daughter, right? You are my chatterbox. Everybody should try Denka's cheesecakes. They are very tasty. Mm. You're very beautiful, Larissa. Thank you. Dad, is she like Botticelli's paintings? Yes, but I keep teaching you. You don't talk about people here in the third person. I'm ready to eat your cheesecakes for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Great job. You'll teach me too? If I find time. Dana Mikhailovna switched the boss on. I have already chosen a cool college in Cambridge. All its graduates are geniuses. I'm going to study there. That's right. Just a geniuses, right? Yes, but it's so far away. And I'll call you. And Larissa will help me with my English. But dad, Larissa is too nice to be a secretary. She'll distract you from work. <laughs> Denka needs a college for the terribly smart. That's right. I'm going to take Hrishka Sadovsky from the third B as my secretary. He is terribly smart. Most importantly, he shouldn't be terrible. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi. Come here. Sit down. Tell me, what's the important talk? Listen. I actually... 
Dad, why are you crumpling like a poor student at the blackboard? And by the way, where's that picture of Mum when she was very young? You used to wear it in a locket. It's always with me. I thought a lot, considered. Risks and possible benefits. Right. Both risks and benefits. And I will probably marry Larissa soon. So that she could teach me for free. It is a poor business plan. What do you think? But you didn't even ask Larissa. You just saw her. No. We've been dating for a few months now. I liked her straight away as soon as Valia introduced us. What's wrong? Dear, you liked her too, right? No, Dad. Why, you said she was beautiful. No, Dad. No, I said no. Dana, Dana, open the door, please. You're not behaving like an adult. I didn't expect it. I don't want to talk. Dana, Dana. With anyone. You knew everything. You all set it up, get me a ticket. I'll leave tomorrow, as far as I can. It's okay, don't worry, things will get better, we'll fix it. It will be alright. I'll probably go. Wait, where are you going? You don't have to go anywhere. It's okay, she'll get used to you, Dana. And give me back the locket with mum. You don't need it anymore. Yeah. Hi. Let's start. Don't try. Dad will buy a new one. Dana. Why should we quarrel? Huh? It's stupid. You are stupid. You don't like me living here, do you? But I'm going to live here. It's better if we don't get on each other's nerves. We'll soon be close people. You are no one to me. And you will never be my mom. You're so tough. And note that I'm not going to tiptoe around you like everyone else. I've got a temper too. I was alone without my mother in a student dormitory in another city, and I grew my teeth. Go away. It is my room. I'll tell your dad that the lesson went well. It's mutually useful. And you tell him about the book. Mitro, you can't be distracted while driving. Yes, yes. Sorry, boss. I'm transporting a precious cargo. Do you drive Larissa in my car? Why does it smell like her perfume in here? It seemed to you.
What papers did you give her? Why? Your father asked me to. Why is Larissa here with Uncle Kirillo? Does Dad know? You're really a detective. They just met by chance. A restaurant is near the office. They just had lunch. Just had lunch. She doesn't work in Dad's office. Doctor, do you think I'll look considering everything? Oh, little one, you're here, all alone. No, the driver is waiting in the car, and I'm not a little one. Oh, of course, visiting your father, our fiancé, is somewhat worried. You need to be examined with your heart, and urgently. And you can't even come to my medical office. But work doesn't let me go. Who will work? Work? I don't want to scare you, but with this kind of pressure, it's like a ticking time bomb. The injection will work. You should feel better. Danka. Uncle Leonia, is Dad sick? No, no. It's just our Zinica doing the plan. You're lying? Is he sick? Your dad needs some rest. I know what you're going to say, Denka. But I'll give you an answer. If that's what you want. Fine. I'll never get married again. But I have a condition for you. You will never get married either. We'll live together. You'll take care of me. Is that a deal? No. If it is so important and necessary for you, get married. I will try to love this Larissa and whoever she has, a brother or a sister. The couple can exchange their rings. I asked the couple to come to me. Mikhailo Petrovic, I did everything you asked. You need to sign here and here. You and the bride that she is taking her husband's surname. And about the adoption and Dana's certificate, Larissa Artemivna will be specified in the column mother. Sign here. Here, please. And now the groom can kiss the bride. Hooray! Congratulations! Nice! Congratulations! Be happy! Congratulations! Uncle Leonia, you should help Dad. I know something bad will happen. Congratulations. Congratulations. Great. Congratulations. Come in. Mikhailo Petrovic, you have visitors. Sorry. What's up, gentlemen? Mikhailo Petrovic Pavlenko. That's right. Here is a search and arrest warrant on your name. What kind of financial fraud? Let's go. Mishko. Let's go. Excuse me for a moment. What's going on? Larry said. Everything is fine, don't worry. Call Samarinan, I've been set up. What? Quiet, 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 take care and don't trust anyone. Everything will be fine. Call Samarinan, do you hear me? That's it. Come here. Come on. Let's go. It's time to go. Just a second. I'm going away for a while. Everything will be fine. Obey Larissa. Take care of her and the baby. Do you hear me? That's it. I love you very much.
Let's get started. Okay, you take the first floor, you take the second. Are you happy? Mom, what's going to happen now? Lara, calm down. Calm down, Mom. Am I going to have a baby with a criminal who also lost everything? You've made a good choice for your daughter, Mom, the best ever. Lara, what have you done, huh? Pavlenko gave us everything. Why are you spitting into the hand that feeds you? Valia, please, no shows, okay? You knew it would happen. You got involved with Hamov, with this rascal. It's obvious. Shut up. They'll handle it without us. My business is not that big. Dad will come back and kick you all out. You and you. You betrayers. Why, Dana? He won't be back soon. You're lying. What are you babbling about? Shut the hell up. Dana. Your father asked you to keep calm. The lawyers are already working. They will figure it all out. And I'm sure dad will come home very soon. You said that he was in danger. Will you tell me why you thought so? Can you give this to dad? The locket with mom on it. Let him have it. I'll give it to him. Thank you. Dana, that's a very good school. It's private. You can even live there for a while, until everything is settled. Dad couldn't have sent me to a boarding school. I don't believe it. That's what he ordered me to do. Are you discussing his orders now? Dana, it's not our fancy. Dad said so. You didn't talk to him. He told me through Uncle Leonia. I don't want to go there. Damn it. What's up? Is that Hamov? Dana, sit down now. Let's see who is faster. Do you realize that he is after you? Or maybe even four? Don't invite troubles. You realize that all this is because of you. They will kill you first. He is unlikely to return to this office. So take it. Wife. Here are some nice souvenirs. Crafts. Photos of his first wife. You probably won't need them. Mishka will come back. It can't be that way. Well, anything can happen. And you shouldn't believe Semarinen stories like that. If Mishko got there and was locked up, he'll be there for a long time. And for a reason. Why so? Why? He made his bed by lying on others. What do you mean? I mean the working people. Vouchers. Vouchers. Remember? Whoever fooled the most people was the one who won. That's it. And now it's time to pay back. And you should be happy that I'm here. I'll save the company, business, property. Is it possible? Everything is possible. There is a scheme. And you, as Pavlenko's legal wife, will have to sign where I say. Seminarin never said anything like that. Mishko trusted him, and so do I. And you shouldn't listen to him. 
It was Semarinen who leaked the documents to the cops, who took him and opened a criminal case against Mishko. Were those the documents that Mitro handed over? It doesn't matter. If I were you, I'd rather think about your child's future. For example, what is wrong with you? Am I so scary? Maybe you just made the wrong choice. I understand that Michaela was a great match. What about now? Yes. I don't understand, repeat. Meaning? And no one. Okay. Dana was being taken to a boarding school. Your mom and her husband. Yes, I know. What happened? In short, there was an accident. They just told me. No one survived. Just one call, Mishko, and so they make it work for us for a normal fee. I'm not feeling myself. Damn it. Mishko, now you need to think about how you can avoid a long sentence. Hello, Larissa. What? Yes, how are you? What's up? How's Denka? Mishko. My mother. She died. She crashed in a car. What? And Mitro. And your Denka. All of them. Oh, my God, I can't. Damn. Mishko, Mishko, Mishko. Mishko, 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 Mishko. Get a doctor, anyone. God forbid anyone to go through such a fate. Her father died when he found out about the accident. He had a massive heart attack. He died instantly. That's why no relatives come to see her. How is she going to live now? The door is wide open. Come in, whoever you want, take what you want. I don't want. Here, here, here. Well done. 40 degrees and nothing to show for it, yes. I understand everything, Larissa. It's a grief. You buried your mother, stepfather, husband. But you have to live on. No need. Leave me alone, everybody. Instead of sedatives, here's the thing, Larissa. 
Michaela was a very clever man, and he made a clever will. All his inheritance goes to his daughter. At the age of 18, she acquires the right to manage assets. Daddy's damn joy. I don't need anything. And I do. Imagine that. In short, for now, all this Mishko's property can and should be managed through the custodians. Who are you? Mummy? According to the new documents. No, 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 I won't. But you have to, Larissa. Even if you don't want to, you'll have to become a mummy and be my friend. And if you are a smart and obedient girl, you will live well in prosperity and maybe even with a man. It hurts. It hurts me too. It hurts everyone. Here, tie it yourself. I have to give birth to a child no one needs. Listen, I've never been your mom, and I'm not going to be, got it? And it's better without this familiarity. One year later, Did you feed him, Larry, sir? I fed him. I didn't. I'll feed you. boy. And there was a lot of shouting. Don't be angry with mum. She's good. She's just a bit tired. Mum will come and we'll sing to her. Yeah. Yeah, mummy, right. Don't call me like that. I'm not your mum. And I say this to Sashko. Yeah, it's amusing. My mother nursed you. Even abandoned her own daughter. And now you nurse mine. Where are my bottles? Larissa, you shouldn't drink at all. Where did you hide everything? I didn't hide anything. Did you get together with the maids? Huh? Have you decided to bring me up? Little late. It's better if you take Sashko for a walk and not the nanny. Nanny? There's no nanny. I fired her. The nanny talked a lot. Oh. Why? Hire a new one. You have a lot of money. It's me who has nothing. Or maybe I'm spending all those generous handouts on your horses and teachers. No teachers or horses for a long time. Only my school is paid for. But your school costs as much as... Why aren't you satisfied with the usual one, huh? Dad wanted this. I see, of course. I see. Then college in England. 
and then you become a big boss. Oh my God, what are you dreaming about? You need to dream about how to successfully marry. And you talk about business. I promised my dad. Dana, is it the same at home? Yes, but I'm trying to fix it. I feel sorry for my brother. Is that why you're so upset? No, tomorrow is the one-year anniversary of Dad's death. We fixed everything we could. All charges have been dropped, and the company is operating, and people remember your father only with kind words. When will they punish those who framed Dad? They will punish. They will definitely punish them. It just takes a little time. But it won't bring Dad back. But you are a continuation of him. One, find a new nanny for Sashko. Two, find a doctor for Larissa. So keep going your own way. You are a smart girl. You will succeed. Thank you, Uncle Leonia. I'm going. Thank you. You scared me. You behave as if you were at home, huh? Why? I think of it as my home, my woman. Maybe I'll be the master? What am I, a dog to you? Every dog is looking for a master, and you need a new one. What's wrong with you? No mood? And there was no mood. Take your hands off me. Hangover, Laura. Maybe I should give you some money? Maybe you can give it to me. I don't understand why I have to live on your handouts. It's Danka's money, and I'm her custodian, not you. Ah, uh, you know, darling, in this house you are nothing. A fool who successfully lay down under Pavlenko. Nothing more. Got it. I can't stand it anymore. I don't want to anymore. What do you want? Maybe you want to be married, huh? Maybe I want to, but not to you. Who would take you with a baby and no money? You're worthless. You're cheap. Listen, you fool, H. Here comes the mistress of the house. Uncle Kirillo, don't enter our house. I'm sorry, Dana Mikhailovna, that I'm not invited. There is a little baby in the house. No strangers are allowed here. Where is Sashko? And Sashko, Sashko is sleeping, and I'll go check on him. Uncle Kirillo, give us some money. Sashko needs a new nanny, and Larissa needs a drug addiction doctor to stop drinking. But if I give her money, Larissa will drink it away. The money must be transferred to a card, then Larissa won't get it, and the nanny should receive her salary in a bank, not here. Ah, uh, clever. Clever, clever. Okay. You take after your father. Well, Sashko, we bought some cottage cheese. We'll cook cheesecakes. Our father loved my cheesecakes. I don't know how she can leave everything on the child. She drinks. Horrible. Ungodly. Horrible. Don't touch me. I figured it out a long time ago. It was you, right? You killed them. My mom and her husband, you. Are you completely out of your mind, idiot? When they called you, when they told you, it wasn't the police. It was your friends who called, right? 
and you were shouting at them. It was them who caused the accident, right? Shut up. Mitro lost control of the car. Sure, because his car was being chased on your orders. They were all interfering with you. You killed them all. Listen, you, Dmitro, sold himself out for 30 pieces of silver. He didn't care about your mom or Pavlenko. He only wanted money. He listened and did what I said. And Mishko? Did you frame Mishko? And if so, what then? What then? It wasn't hard to do. A few signatures in the wrong place, a few different documents. The ones you handed over to me through, Dmitro. Did you forget? Over radio. Yes, we are observing. Don't do anything without my command. You're looking for the guilty. I hate you. I hate you. Listen, if you keep fighting, you'll drown yourself and you will lose everything. I've already lost everything, okay? And you will be responsible for everything. And you're here with the air. Over radio, come on, let's go, go, go. Open the door, open up. Go away. Open up, listen. You think you've hidden, right? You think I won't come in? Let's talk. Give me the kid, okay? That's it, I won't hurt you. I'm not afraid of you, and you won't touch Sashko. Just try to come in. Yeah, what's going to happen? Will you kill me? Hands behind your back. Hey, Mav, get away from the door, now. Hey, hey. Move out. Get out. Thank you, Larry said you did everything right, but of course, no one expected that. How are you feeling? Better. It's going to be fine. Will you add him for an assassination attempt, right? He's already got a lot going for him. It was important for us to hear his confession. Everything he said was recorded on camera. It will be added to the case and used as an accusation in court. Take him away. It's okay. You and your dad made a gesture. Can you teach me? What does it mean? It's like a heartbeat. I don't know what to do next. I can't bring Mishko back. Neither can I bring my mom. Oh, how to live. There is no sense. You have to raise Sashko. That's the sense. <gasps> Thank you for everything. For saving Sashko and me. You can call me mom if you want. I will try to be your mom.
10 years later. Sashko. Sashko, get up. What's wrong? Stop sleeping. Hey. And you? I got up because of you. Come on, let's go. Where? To meet your sister. Was it me who counted the days until she came? Get up. Now, boarding flight number 432. Please enter through Terminal B. I repeat, Flight 432 is now boarding. Please enter through Terminal B. Sashko! Sashko, God! Where are you going? Are you crazy? Where are you going? Denka was there. Oh, my God, did you see that? Oh, my God, thank you. You're so crazy, hi. Hi. Thank you. Oh, my God, that's crazy. Thank you, Andrei. By the way, meet Andrei. You know each other? Yes, we flew together. Andrei is a manager, so I want to make him a manager. Ah, I see, nice to meet you, Larissa. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you again. Okay, let's go, Sashko, if you run away from me again. Thank you. Did you see? Listen, are you sure you brought him as a manager? I thought he was a fiancé. Larissa. Ah. Dana and I have known each other since college. I was her research supervisor's assistant. Andrea helped me with my coursework. He's an expert in this field. Really? Dana is an independent girl. She's been like this since childhood. Self-made woman. I can't do anything. Not even cooking. Although there was no one to cook for, my Sashko eats everything. So we use food delivery. I can teach Sashko. The basic minimum. I can do it when I need to. Breakfast and lunch, too. Perhaps you will also manage here? Why? I always dreamed of a younger brother. I grew up alone. Great. Are you ready to continue, Dana Mikhailovna? Yes. End of the first episode. <laughs>